Hello everyone and welcome back to White Run Racing. This video will be the first of a series dedicated to the tuning of a race engine for Vespa's ball frame formula endurance. I'll show you the preparation of the reed valve pack and the clutch tuning. But before we start, I'll have to specify what kind of engine this is. In Formula Endurance there are two categories, one without limits and a slower one which only allows a 135 displacement, a carburetor with a 28mm maximum diameter, intake to the carter. This is the category for which we'll work on our engine. Regarding the reed valve pack, I choose a MRP, MRP collector suitable for RD350 reed valve packs, which I deemed fit enough for the 28 VHST carburetor that we'll use. Let's go check this MRP reed valve collector. It's a very nice object, it's almost a shame having to mount it on the engine. It accommodates the RD350 cusp. As you can see, this piece has quite a potential for enlarging. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, though, we won't be able to take advantage of this because we'll have to mount it on a two-exit cutter. And here, here is our cusp. I've already went and cleaned, and cleaned all the internal fusion burrs, which are located in this area, unplugged the original reeds, and prepared it for the installation of new carbon ones, and also flow guide. Originally, this reed valve pack comes with some 0.5mm fiberglass reeds, they're not very high performing though, so I replaced them with a carbon red kit from MRP, along with a flow guide to insert in the cusp, with a 30mm diameter like our collector. I should spend a couple of words about the collector because the stock one would have to be shortened in order to be mounted on a race Vespa. This one was homemade, I cut it at this height and then welding the last part of the collector itself, which usually should end in the frame's electrode basins. Externally, the work wasn't very refined, but still, the internal smoothing is perfect. And so, the result, in terms of fluid dynamics, is guaranteed. Another thing I want to show you is the perfect elaboration between the collector and the flow guide. In fact, by mounting it, we can see there are no bumps. Since the carbon plate from which we made the reeds was slightly curved, I proceeded to identify the exterior by drawing these circles with a marker. This way the closure on the engine side will always be ensured by the carbon foils curve. Let's proceed to the actual assembling. In this phase I usually take care to add a drop of anaerobic type sealant in the stopper's screws.
Okay. There you go. Let's get it screwed. It's good practice to always tighten this well because there's always a risk that they can be sucked in by the engine which could cause serious damage of course. Let's add a couple more drops of sealant. As I already checked, the read point is perfectly closed. We'll complete this work by slightly enlarging the stoppers with a reinforced screwdriver. Let's not overdo it, just make it spin. Let's finish with the clutch. This engine will mount a clutch made by Fabri and as you all know, it mounts Falk type discs. This one specifically was used in, was used just in uh, one 12 hours long race, but we'll change the discs anyway, just to be safe. Let's take it apart. Let's remove the old discs and put the new ones. While we are assembling, we must, take, we must take care to mount them in the right direction and most of all, oil them during assembly. Let's remove any residue caused by the usage. Let's keep cleaning and add more discs on the way with some oil. Clearly for the centering we'll use a bell. Here it is. So we mount the centering bell, take the first disc and put it in its spot. Let's also add some more oil. Again, 
one, some more oil. This second disc. And more oil. Two. More oil. The disc. Some more oil. And three. There you go. Perfect. A bit more oil. The last disc has slightly bent teeth in order to fit this standard bell too. This is a DRT bell that doesn't need any customization because it's slightly taller than normal. As you can see, there's some exceeding space. Anyway, let's put some more oil. Clean the closing disc. And so we can mount it. There we go. Since we have now mounted the clutch, let's make it spin a little so that the discs can get well oiled. That's all for today, goodbye everyone and see you in the next video. If you liked this video, leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Remember. White Run Racing is not a workshop, but an amateur sport association that works on engines only for sport purposes and only for its associates.